Hello my beautiful people, my name is Yele of Yele Stitches and for my new subscribers out there, Yele Stitches is a female fashion brand that makes female dresses and accessories. Today I'm going to be talking on Etsy, how to open an Etsy shop, especially for my people that are not in the United States. The first thing we need to know is what Etsy is all about. So Etsy is an American-based online platform where you can put your crafts and supplies and handmade stuff on it. So the thing about Etsy is that it mostly encourages small businesses. It encourages the work of your hands, if you get what I mean. So, and there's this misconception for people that are not in the United States who think that Etsy is only for people that are here. It's not just for people in America. I've, I've seen lots of uh, businesses that from Ukraine, from China, from Turkey, from Nigeria, from Ghana, like name it, whatever country, I've seen lots of shops that are on Etsy. So the first myth that I want to break today is that Etsy is not just for Americans, it's for everybody. Forward, we're going to talk about four things that I want you to know about Etsy especially if you're not here in the United States the first thing I want to teach you is how to register on Etsy what do you need to register on Etsy you just need your email address and your normal address and all those normal basic informations what you sell what you want to put on Etsy and everything like that those are the information that will ask so we're gonna up on the computer real quick so I can show you how to register on Etsy First thing we're going to do, of course, is to go to Etsy.com. You type that in your search bar and then it takes you straight to the Etsy website. And then this is the reason why I want to show how to register because the sell on Etsy button is so far down. And if you're not careful, you probably miss that button. So I scrolled all the way down and I click on the sell on Etsy button. And then I scrolled all the way down here again and then you will see open shop or open store and then you click on that then you put in your email address i'm just using xyz as gmail.com like it's not like my email address but i'm just using that as an example then you put in your password here and you click sign in and after doing that i believe that you it will ask some very simple and easy questions and the rest of it is self-explanatory but the main purpose of me showing you this is to show you where the sell on etsy button actually is so you don't miss that button after registering on etsy it's going to ask you to put up your first listing when you put up your first listing it's going to ask for 20 cents for your first listing i know for many of us who are not here especially my nigerian brothers and sisters when you hear 20 cents you're already calculating how much that is from naira to dollars it is not that expensive oh. if i do the calculation for you now let's say one dollar is uh, 450 naira so if we do it science 20 cents ah what's the mass of that though let's say 90 naira i think 90 naira is not too bad like 19 naira is not too bad for something that is going to like pay you later in the future. It's like an investment, a 19 naira investment. And I believe sincerely that at least if you can have data to watch YouTube, I'm sure you have 19 naira to start your Etsy business. All right. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the rules to beware of when you are on Etsy. So this is the second thing, the rules to beware of. The first rule is that you should put your handmade stuff something that you created yourself don't go and steal someone's picture on pinterest and put it on etsy and say you made it and secondly don't put fake stuff don't put counterfeit stuff thirdly avoid trademark stuff like anything that is like chanel or disney or you know all those big big names try to avoid those kinds of products on etsy like some people do it and get away with it but we don't want them to mess up and close our etsy shop on top of something that we do not understand so please avoid anything trademark make sure that it's something that you made with your own hands simple simple things like beads like we're going to get to what you can put on etsy but for now that's another thing please do not put anything that you did not make yourself on etsy it is mostly for handcrafts handmade stuff and highest thing 
is the craft supplies maybe stuff, stuff like fabric that's the highest thing that you can put that maybe you didn't make yourself but at least you are providing it for people who will still make stuff with it later so you can still put craft supplies and stuff like that but anything that you did not source yourself you did not package yourself you did not make yourself please do not put it on etsy or else you just see that your shop gets closed and don't say it is me that advise you to open shop and they not close your shop you now come and look for me and add me in comment section and be the lord is watching also i have warned you ahead of time all right so those are the major rules and another set of things that you need to know they are not really rules but they are things that you should like put in mind etsy is not completely free but it's still cheap compared to other platforms compared to spotify and all those other platforms it is still pretty cheap in that besides the listing fee of course they will collect like selling fee like transaction fee shipping fees you know little little stuff like that but by the time you convert the naira to dollar based on the profit i'm talking about naira to dollar because that's what i'm most conversant with but other um, currencies we know that dollar is sort of like I up there so by the time you convert it you see that your profit is still okay even with the fact that they are removing fees and removing the 20 cents and the fees are not much it's like five percent transaction fee so by the time you calculate everything and you remove your profit from everything and be i believe sincerely that your profit will still be substantial at the end of the day and this video is like is like for my people it's for my like my fellow african brothers and sisters so you know that there is a way to do this thing online so that you don't say you don't have the information i'm giving you the information now my fellow tailors my fellow bead makers my fellow um artists my fellow computer and it guys i'm giving you the plug now don't say i didn't plug you in all right so what to sell and what is hot on etsy the number one thing to sell on etsy is anything that is related to gifts 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 and lots of gifts especially personalized gifts where you can put your name on something if it's like a robe that you made you can write a name or something personalized gift is very hot on etsy so if you are someone that prints i know lots of people that do printing jobs in nigeria they do very very good printing jobs so if you make do the, if you do such printing jobs etsy is a very nice platform for you to sell all those nice printing jobs where you put someone's name you know like you write someone's name at the back and person be flexing with it that is a perfect place for you to put it and be selling it all personalized gifts uh personalized robes wedding gifts wedding gift is also really big on etsy so anything that has to do with gifts and stuff like that you put it on etsy and another main thing again is to jump on the trends when i mean jump on the trends is like be be conversant with the season if it is father's day, uh, day season like father's day is tomorrow now if you were on etsy you'll have put something nice for father's day and it'll have sold like a, like if you put it a month ago to be selling till like maybe a week ago all right so try to jump on trends if it's father's day period put stuff that are related to father's day if it is mother's day period put stuff that are related to mother's day if it's christmas put stuff that are related you can always find a way to make what you sell Re relate to what is going on around you especially in the united states because the biggest market on etsy is the united states like we have lots of customers in the united states on etsy so like try to you know get the groove or what of what the culture is in the united states and what you can put that you know blends with the trend at each time so another thing is uh jewelries jewelries are selling a lot on etsy and uh this doesn't just apply to my african brothers and sisters it applies to everyone jewelry 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 engagement rings uh birthday rings birthday necklace stuff like that you know all those nice jewelry that you put mommy and daughter you know mommy loves daddy all those fine fine jewelry that you put one picture here put one picture here and it, it's closed all those uh, jewelry that are at, 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 come together turn to one at those kind of nice nice jewelry they are really 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 selling on etsy earrings uh rings necklaces all those stuff like they are a go-to on etsy now for my it guys so don't say i did not put you in even though i said i was going to put you in i will not remove you now nah, don't worry i got you back so for my it guys you need to do something called digital uh digital planner 
these digital planners are selling like all cake like you can do your research on etsy do your research on pinterest do your research in all those places to see the kind of you know the kind of templates that these digital planners use you can you can just jump on your computer make svgs make stickers you know nice simple simple stuff like that i believe my computer guys will know what i'm talking about or you have an idea of what i'm talking about you know all those svgs all those nice templates instagram templates you won't believe how they are selling on you won't believe oh but i'm telling you now so jump on this now how did i know that these things are selling now this is the fourth thing i'm going to talk about and this is probably the last thing i'm going to talk about how do i know that these things are selling because of a platform or because of a website that i use called erank.com i'm going to put the link in my description uh box below or i'm going to put the link in my description and then i'm going to write it on the screen somewhere so erank.com is this really nice seo uh plan website where i just go to check what is trending on etsy i can see what is trending on amazon i can see what is trending on pinterest i can see what is trending on google so like that place eh, is like the nice well what would i say expo the nice expo place you know when when you are writing the exam and you already know the questions of the exam before the exam did that, that that's exactly how your rank is it's like it already tells you what is hot what is selling what is not selling you know the keywords to use and everything like that i can't get into all the details here but with this few points of mind i hope i'm able to convince you and not confuse you to get yourself on etsy quick and just to put it out there, Etsy is not paying me shingbine to do this video. I'm just doing it because I want the knowledge to be out there. I wish someone gave me this knowledge when I first got to the United States. I wish someone gave me this knowledge when I was still in Nigeria. I would have been making correct profits. But they didn't give me. But now that I'm here, that I know these things, I'm giving you people on the plateau of gold. So those are the things that I have for you today. Uh, if you like this content, Please comment below. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Ask me questions on what the or things that I didn't cover right now. You know, let me know what's on your mind. Let us rub minds together. Let's understand what's going on. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>